So I've just got home. Um, yeah. And I don't even remember what I was going to do. I know I was hungry. And I was going to do some drawing. But, um, yeah, this sketchbook is about halfway done. But you'll be seeing in the video that it'll be a drawing in a different sketchbook. But, um, this is the other one that I'm working on. And I'm slowly, slowly getting there. Uh, eventually, maybe, I think, hmm, let's see here. I think, possibly, I'd say get it two weeks and I'll be done with the sketchbook. Something like that. Um, and then, I have my bigger moleskin sketchbook I have to complete. But, um, yeah, not much else. I was actually going to work out today. I was going to go to uh, the reservoir near me, lift a bunch of rocks, and um, get stronger, build some muscle. Um, but, I'm going to work on drawing today, eat, and that's about it. Um, I do have some pens I need to do reviews on. I'll be getting to those as well. And some more tutorials about dealing with artist block and how to draw doodles and uh, anything else. But as of right now, um, not much else today. Uh, I didn't really have this video planned. I actually just started recording and talking about whatever came to my mind. Um, but yeah, other than that, drawing and um, getting back into working out more, um, that's about it. So. Let's go ahead and take a look and um, see what we can doodle today. So if you can hear that, that's me chewing on some Granny Smith apples. I got these in bulk amount um, from, as clearance. They were really cheap and um, it was like maybe 20 pounds of Granny Smith apples. I think it cost like maybe... I think it was 25 pounds of Granny Smith apples, but it only cost me about, um, only around, I think, four or five dollars. But I've been eating these for the past month. They last quite a long time if you keep them in the fridge. Um, a lot of them have, like, discoloration in the skin, but I've cut all these apples open, and there's nothing wrong with them. It's just the skin looks kind of bad. They're still crunchy. They're not soft or anything, so. Hey, there's more apples for me. Um, I like the Granny Smith. They have a, a, a like a, a tart taste to them. There's other apples that I've ate before that are labeled as tart. Yep, they taste sweeter than the apples that are, that are labeled sweet. Hmm. I like Honeycrisp apples, too. But usually when I eat apples, I eat it with uh, peanut butter, and I buy the natural peanut butter. And you've got to mix it up with a spoon, um, because it has natural oils and everything in it. And it, all the oil rises to the top, above the peanut butter. And so, what you have to do is, you've got to mix the peanut butter in with the oils that are there to get it um, a smooth, creamy consistency. But I don't have any peanut butter right now. I ran out. Uh, I usually wait until it goes on like a really good sale. It's like two for four. Uh, so two dollars each. And I'll buy like 20 of those. And I won't need to buy any peanut butter for a while. But um, the store near me where they usually sell that. They haven't had it on sale for a while. And the price now is two ninety nine. It's a dollar more. But I eat a lot of food. I mean, I eat healthy, but I eat a lot of healthy food. And I have to try to eat a lot to try to gain weight um, because I'm trying to gain muscle. Um, you might have heard my last video. I was talking about working out again. And I just started working out again yesterday. This is something I want to make. It's a consistent thing. Um, I'm just working out with rocks and just you know, using whatever I have around rather than using a gym membership because the extra money I would spend on a gym membership I'm putting that money towards uh, buying extra food to eat but I have about 10 pounds of these apples left and I eat one a day but 
I'm really missing having the peanut butter with it. Now, I did this thing to where the other day I had these um, uh, sunflower seeds. They're seedlet, like without the shell on it, I mean. So it's the sunflower seeds, no shell. They're roasted and uh, lightly salted. Um, I took that and I mixed that with the peanut butter and ate that with my apples. So I'm getting some extra carbohydrates and I'm getting protein. And there's a little bit of sugar in the apples. So it's like a good uh, pre-workout snack. I usually eat it maybe 30 minutes before I go to work out. And then I'll stretch for a little bit, very lightly. Like, it's more of a... I'll do the movement of the exercise that I'm doing rather than just doing a whole bunch of stretching. So, for example, if I'm going to be doing squats, I'll take, like, the barbell, and I'll just do a bunch of reps with it. Full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. Same if I'm doing bench press or deadlifts. And I'll kind of move around and uh, do really light stretching, and then I'll get into lifting. Um... But right now, I've just been using big giant rocks that I pick up and carry around and push overhead. I'm really strong at deadlifting, but I've always had weakness with overhead press because my shoulders are my weakest part. My triceps are the second weakest, and my lats are probably the third weakest. And those are all very important for overhead pressing. And so, I have a hard time with it. But deadlifts, I'm really good at because deadlifts use a lot of hamstring. Uh, glutes and back everything in your posterior chain and that's part of my body that's the strongest so anything that involves lifting something off the ground I'm really strong with I'm pretty good at squats as well got strong legs but anything overhead press I'm uh, really weak at but I'm training it really hard um, uh, the only thing I'd be careful is that I can't try to do too heavy weight for overhead press because my shoulders and triceps are so weak that if I try to press a real heavy weight, my arms completely just give out, and I don't want to drop a rock on my head. So um, I've got to be careful with that. So I just go with lighter weight, and I just do more reps of it. Um, but if I do have like a, a heavier rock or something that I'm going to press for one rep, if it feels like I know it's too heavy, like if I get halfway, then I just like let go, like throw it in front of me, so I don't like have it fall on me. But, um, yeah, just working out, drawing, eating a lot, and that's mostly, that's about it. I would buy paper plates, but, um, I just rewash the same couple of plates and bowls over and over. Um, so I have to do so many dishes. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more food, make myself an actual meal rather than just eating this apple and sunflower seeds, and, um, I will see you all in the next video, so... You all have fun drawing and doodling and doing whatever it is that you enjoy. And I will see you all later. Have a great day. Later, everybody.